New to Dragon Frame 4 is the split image viewing system in the cinematography workspace. It's found up here in the left corner. You'll see these two icons, these are buttons. You activate the tool by clicking on this button and you'll see already we've got this tool here that we can move around that shows a split between two different images, an A and a B image. And if we look down to our test shot area, you can see there's an A and a B. If you wanna move which one is A and which one is B, you come up to the other tool here and you switch the setting. So let's say I wanted to change what A was, I click this to A. So now that A is highlighted up here, whatever I click down in my test shots or my references, or even in my exposures will become the A. So I click there, now I'm comparing B to that A. I can click over here, I've now switched to that image. And the same goes with B. If it reads B up here, whatever I click on now will become the B. And this is a very useful tool if you, for instance, are in the middle of a shot and let's say a light blows or something and you've got maybe a background that you now need to match the lighting on and you need to shoot some test shots and get it to match. One thing we can do here is we'll switch this to A, come down here, I'm gonna make this last test shot our A, and then I'm gonna come back up here and switch this to B. And what that is going to do is make it so that every time I shoot a test shot, the new test shot automatically becomes the B. So watch this. I'm gonna come over here, shoot test shot, and you'll see the B jumped to the new test shot. And you can see it, we've got a match because this is the same exposure. So we're actually seeing a split, but it's exactly the same. I'll change something here, two thirds of a stop. I'll shoot another image. And you can see that A is staying on top of this test image nine. The B moved on to the newest test shot. Now, if you needed to compare something really subtle like uh, shades on a gradation, you can also do this. So you grab this little, this little line here and you pull it out and it's gonna give you all these cool stripes version of an AB. And then you could adjust your lighting or whatever it is until you eventually get that match that you're looking for. When you're done, you just turn it off by clicking that. So that's the AB tool and I'm sure you'll find some interesting uses for it.